So the other day, Rockstar made a lot of secret changes to Cayo Perico and the heist associated with the new island. And this is not surprising, and this is something that they did with the launch of Los Santos Tuners. We usually always see that with new updates. The one before gets a lot of patches and fixes. Like, for example, when the Diamond Casino heist came out, it patched a lot of things in the Diamond Casino and Resort update, the DLC that came out right before. So in this DLC, Los Santos Tuners, it patched a lot of the stuff that Rockstar could not do with background updates and tunables from the Cayo Perico heist. And I will leave a link to the patch notes in the description, but Rockstar have been doing way more than that. And I highly recommend you check it out for yourself. Scroll down to the content part and just look for things mentioning Cayo Perico, like dialogue issues, map blips, scuba gear not being on certain players glitches that would cause them to not be able to complete the heist, stuff like that. There's a lot of things that they did mention on that patch page, but there's also a lot of stuff that they did not mention. And that's what we're going to be talking about in this video today. So it all started with Rockstar Games insider Tez Funds 2, and he ended up saying this. Rockstar stealthily updated Cayo Perico yesterday with a couple of things. The Juggernaut can no longer be pistol whipped, nor killed in a single headshot. Three wooden boxes were slightly repositioned within Dave's cage and an extra check on the Brioso 300 to keep it in place. And he said he will keep this updated. But when I'm recording this video, there has been nothing more added. So let's start with the Juggernaut. That's obviously a big change, although killing this guy was honestly nothing more than just a time saver. Now, I haven't played the Cayo Perico heist since then, but maybe instead of doing a pistol whip, you'd be able to knife or melee them when you're in stealth. You could stab him in the neck, and maybe that would do the exact same thing. That is something I have not tested, so if you have, and if you've tested any of this, please let us know in those comments down below. Regarding those three wooden boxes that were slightly repositioned in Dave's cage, this is what Tez Funds 2 said. He said, this is the old version, but the markers show the new location for them. They also replaced the model of the left box to be the same as the two boxes on the right. Not sure why, could be a glitch patch. And many people are reporting that the reason Rockstar did this is because of clipping issues. Like if you would shoot them, they would start spazzing out of the cage and it would just look awkward and not really polished. So I believe that is the reason why Rockstar is doing that. So that right there shouldn't have a huge impact on the gameplay. I think Rockstar just trying to prevent glitches. And then as far as the Brioso 300 uh, being changed... Uh, Insider Tez Funds 2 said this, No idea, you couldn't drive it in the first place, but Rockstar added a check to permanently apply the brakes, maybe to patch some glitch that's involved to drive it. So that is what we know from Insider Tez Funds 2. He also commented a couple of times on the GTA forum site as well. Uh, regarding the boxes, he basically said the same thing, that it might be due to a glitch or a clipping issue and that there's just simply a new location. As far as the Juggernaut goes, Rockstar enabled the melee proof flag for him, and they also changed his spawn location a bit. It's not something that you will notice, but they did change it. And when I'm recording this video, this all started early on Thursday morning. So I wonder if Rockstar made these changes when they did the current event week that's happening right now. Now, as I mentioned earlier, those were not the only changes that Rockstar made to the Cayo Perico heist since LS Tuners has dropped. So these are a couple of things that players have pointed out. So before this update, in the heist scope out, once you had the loot in the vault scoped, you could just switch sessions and the game would consider the scope out done, meaning you could skip that part of getting caught by the guards entirely if you had your Kosatka as a spawn location. Now, if you try and do this, you will have to do the scope out again. So a little bit inconvenient there. Also, Pavel has been updated. He will only send you text messages informing of other organizations or MCs carrying Cayo Perico Heist setup equipment if you have your own Cayo Perico Heist paid for and need to do the setups. He would constantly send those messages even if you didn't have a heist paid for before this update 
which is great because it's less phone spam to deal with. It also looks like you can no longer call in your impounded Oppressor Mark II to scope out Cayo Perico. This was an interesting but understandable change where players were be able to glitch their Oppressor Mark II onto the Cayo Perico Island, obviously making it a lot easier to scope out. They also fixed the torch cutter in the underwater cutscene. It's now blue as it should be instead of red. And when you enter the Avenger at the Meriwether weapons prep, the two guys inside are no longer idle but start to move when you enter, which makes them a little bit easier to shoot as well. They also did some changes to the preps, specifically for the safe code prep. After you collect it, you get spawned outside instead of having a shootout inside of the casino. And they likely did this to fix some bugs because on console, if you died after collecting the codes while inside the penthouse, you'd spawn at the noose facility. On PC, however, you'd spawn in the penthouse suite area with the mission completing and you being stuck there until you found a doorway that essentially got you to fall through the map when you'd land near the noose facility. So a couple of glitches that they ended up patching up right there. And then there's been a couple of reports that you can now do things more easily solo, like the key card system in Cayo Perico. We know Rockstar has been emphasizing solo content recently, and this also would not be the first time in which they have hot-fixed a heist to make it either easier or harder or switch stuff around. Remember that Rockstar did the exact same thing with the Diamond Casino heist as well, uh, changing the location of guards and props so that players would have to alter their routes. This is something they do on occasion, and they just don't really tell us about it. Thankfully, we have people that notice those secret changes, and it gives you a better idea of how you can go about completing the heist. I'm just glad they didn't make any changes affecting the payouts or having to do any additional preps or anything like that. I think that would have made people very, very frustrated. We're just seeing them clean up glitches. And this does go to show you that Rockstar is paying attention to the tips and tricks that the community is using out there. And I guess this is their fun way of just altering things a little bit. So that's why it's important to take advantage of things while they're here, because in the blink of an eye, Rockstar can switch them up. But anyways, those are all the secret changes you need to know about in the Cayo Perico heist that Rockstar have secretly made. Let me know in those comments down below if you have noticed any more or you know any workarounds to dealing and combating with these changes. Let me know what you guys think about down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.